Prague 1978, the European Athletic Championship provided a unique opportunity for biomechanical analyses of the techniques of the best athletes in Europe. The analyses took into account that in track events, the performance is influenced primarily by the physiology of the athlete, less so by the skill, which is secondary, with the single exception of hurdling. Athletics is, first of all, track events. This is quite logical. After all, the aim of athletics is to cultivate human movement, and walking and running are the most natural ways of locomotion. In the sprints, the physiological foundation are anaerobic biochemical processes. In the middle distances, the work regime is mixed, anaerobic and aerobic, while in the long distances, there is a continuous aerobic regime. The technique of the crouch start has only one purpose, providing maximum acceleration in minimum time. An important contributing factor is reaction time that can influence or even decide, which has been shown in a number of examples, the result of the race. First on the left is Wells. His start without blocks was the reason why the faulty starts could not be judged by measuring reaction time. Menea Ignachenko. The start of Petrov and Kolesnikov. The semi-final from the second lane, Ignachenko, Menea, Borzov. Semi-final number two, Rai. Kolesnikov and Wells in the start of the final race. From the second lane, Kondracheva, Verhof and Gur. Fifth and sixth lane, Sharp and Laniman. The semi-final, Gur, Rosetto, Haglund. Godard, Maslakova. The start of the final, Kondracheva and Haglund. The spacing and angle of the blocks and the starting position are determined by the anthropometric conditions and the athlete's dynamic power. In the start, the athlete's muscle strength acts against the blocks. Identical reaction strength, or rather their vector sum, and the gravitation force G make up the resultant force that causes the forward movement of the body, or rather its center of gravity. In the graphic representation of the forces, the FSFZ vector is the acceleration force of the leg muscles. After the start, the athlete's position is unstable. Dynamic balance is ensured by the subsequent force impulses produced by the takeoff of the feet. The athlete makes the first stepping strides. A typical feature is landing behind the median. The body is leaning forward extensively, straightening gradually. This can be seen in the increasing takeoff angle. The duration of the support phase is gradually reduced from an average of 210 to 140 milliseconds. At the same time, the cadence of the strides changes and the length is increased. Between the fifth and seventh stride, the length has risen to an average of 150 to 180 percent of the length of the first stride. There's maximum energy output owing to the all-out and practically uninterrupted action of all the main muscle groups involved in this kind of running. The effort to achieve maximum speed in the shortest time facilitates quick transition to the drive running. A textbook starting position shown by Lichnerski. Haglund. Goer, 
the start of the final race. Haman in the fourth lane runs about 40 centimeters off the edge of the lane. Ivanova in the first lane runs in the center. In this way, the distance they have to run is one to two meters more. In the curve, the athlete is exposed to the centrifugal force, which may cause the loss of balance. The athlete counters it by a suitable lean of the body, making the resultant of the gravity and centrifugal forces pass through the bearing surface. The dynamically balanced position corresponds to the velocity of running and the curvature radius of the track. The radius differs in each lane. The most extensive lean-in should be in the first lane. In the outside lanes, the lean decreases gradually. very well. Hofmeister lost 160 milliseconds at the start due to late reaction. Subtracting the start loss, he did the first 100 meters in 10.69 seconds, the second 100 meters in 10.42 seconds. That probably affected the insufficient speed in the finish. The race culminated in a dramatic duel between Hofmeister and Kovars. Cox starting in the final of the women's 400 meters. A good athlete should make maximum use of momentum where muscle relaxation is of primary importance. Maximum relaxation is shown in this straight. The legs make long and relaxed strides. The winner, Marita Koch, in a new world record of outstanding quality, 48.94 seconds. Third home is the former world record holder, Irena Shevinska. Top performance in hurdling depends primarily on good sprinting speed, joint mobility and movement coordination. Between the hurdles, the athlete usually strikes the ground with the ball of the foot first. They must thus have supple ankle joints and powerful lower leg muscles. A collision occurred in the women's 100 meter hurdle race. At the eighth hurdle, Rabstin, trying to catch up with Clear, fell owing to a poor swing, making the race irregular. Rabstein was disqualified.
In the repeat final, Clear shows hurdle clearance typical of GDR athletes, high sprinting speed and takeoff strength. At the moment of takeoff, the thigh of the leading leg is brought up level with the horizontal. The trunk is dipped forward in extension of the takeoff leg. In this way, loss of acceleration force is prevented, the takeoff can be dynamic and the clearance fast. In the following phase, there's a markedly small lean on the hurdle. The leading leg is preparing for an active landing. The landing is done with minimum deflection of the center of gravity from the vertical line. Reduction of forward speed is minimal and the athlete can accelerate adequately in the following takeoff. The active movement of the thigh of the trailing leg facilitates acceleration. The winner of the 110 meter hurdles, Munkelt. Speeding up the takeoff facilitates the active movement of the flexed leading leg forward. A pronounced lean on the hurdle. The leading leg is not fully stretched. At the moment of landing, the fast and active movement of the trailing leg forward dominates, partly eliminating the loss of forward speed caused by the deflection of the center of gravity behind the vertical. It is obvious, despite the tentative determination of the center of gravity, the deflection is considerable. The sprinting way of running after landing is emphasized by the pronounced and active movement of the swing extremities. By way of a summary, it can be stated that the techniques of the winners are based on high sprinting speed and great takeoff energy. In the 400 meter hurdles, tall athletes have an advantage. Long legs facilitate the 13-stride pattern between the hurdles. The technique of clearance shown by Nale. The clearance is less demanding owing to the lower hurdles. Takeoff from the right foot makes it possible for the athlete to run the shortest distance, which is of particular importance in running the curves. The clearance is somewhat higher. See both leading and takeoff leg the position of the trunk and the right arm. The touchdown is in a very suitable position that cuts forward speed loss and facilitates the optimum length of the following stride. In the women's 400 meter hurdles, a lot can still be improved in both clearance technique and, particularly, the stride pattern between the hurdles. Further specialization of athletes with good performances above 400 meters and with good hurdle technique can be expected to bring further dramatic improvements in this event. The steeplechase requires top performances in the five kilometers. In other words, high aerobic and good anaerobic capacity. In addition, the athlete should have better joint mobility than flat runners, as well as movement coordination and should be able to judge distances. The water jump, a pronounced swing of the leading leg, the center of gravity as low as possible. Takeoff from the obstacle should be done in a way that prevents pushing the center of gravity higher. Notice the difference in technique on the fixed obstacle. Excellent technique, the center of gravity is close to the obstacle. Loss technique, the center of gravity is too high. Clearing the hurdle can be practically the same as in the 400 meter hurdles. The final race brought a comfortable win to Malinowski of Poland in 8 minutes 15.1 seconds.
Walking is the natural human locomotion, but race walking differs substantially from the natural walker stride, both in the geometry of motion and the dynamics of execution. The present technique of walking facilitates achieving high speeds. The winner of the 20 kilometers, Visa, had an average speed of 4 meters per second, and the winner of the 50 kilometers, Lopard, achieved as much as 3.6 meters per second. In other words, the critical speed of walking when even an athlete with a perfect technique loses contact with the ground is approximately 4.4 meters per second. The training rate of the world's best long distance walkers has made it possible to reach speeds approaching 90% of the critical value. With the extreme speeds of competitive walking, the double support moment lasts only a few milliseconds. In this case, the judge may often be unable objectively to decide whether or not the walker still maintains contact with the ground. An analysis of film shots made at frequencies of up to 200 frames per second has shown that a number of athletes did in fact violate the rule on unbroken contact with the ground. Unless this valuable athletic event is to be discredited, the rules ought to be reconsidered. They might, for instance, require only heel contact with the ground and keeping the extension of the knee joint of the support leg for the entire landing phase, that is, from contact till the vertical moment. This could be checked very well by any judge at any distance with a naked eye. The finish of the 50 kilometer race. The winner, Lopard, Spain, in 3 hours, 53 minutes, 29.9 seconds. Eight hundred meters, the men's final. First in, Bayer in an excellent time of one minute forty three point eight seconds. Runner-up, Ovid, third, Co. The finish of the women's 800 meters. The gold medal, Providokina, silver, Mosht, bronze, Regal. Final of the men's 1500 meters. Notice the contraction of the relaxed muscles of the lower leg before the foot plant. The phases of the running strides of the winner, Steve Ovid. The final table of it, Cochrane Moorcraft. Mm -hmm. 
the final of the women's 1500 meters. Romanova first, Marascu second, Petrova third. the dramatic finish of the 5,000 meters. The order on the finishing line, Ortiz, Riffle, Fidotkin. the men's 10,000 meters. The winner, Vainio of Finland. The longest of all the running events, the marathon. In the long distance events, it is not the technique that is decisive, but the physiological features. A high functional level of the cardiorespiratory system, a high level of oxidation processes and the muscle exertion, and an ability to mobilize and utilize energy resources. In other words, endurance is limited by the resistance power of the athlete's organism and the ability to maintain body homeostasis in the course of long-term intensive exertion. the last meters of the best marathon runners of the Prague Championship. The race was won by Leonid Moseev with Nikolai Penzin second and Karel Lisman third. This race ended another chapter in the history of the Queen of Sports Athletics, one which was written by the 12th European Championship in Prague. <laughs>